think the the UK referendum uh, was incredibly important for responsible research and innovation um, because it showed to us very clearly that the United Kingdom lives, like many parts of Europe, in a deeply divided society. Now, why that's important is because for many parts of our society, innovation and the benefits of innovation are not being realised for them. Now, why that's important for responsible research and innovation is because frameworks of responsible research and innovation put as a key principle, firstly, the one of inclusion, which means including the kinds of voices that sometimes don't get represented in innovation systems and in the benefits of innovation. And I think our, our referendum showed that we have to be in touch with those members of society and include them in the innovation process, in the innovation systems and in the knowledge economy. Um, it also drew our attention to another dimension of, of RRI, which is the dimension of, <coughs> pardon me, of, of reflexivity, which is a, a fancy word that essentially means holding a mirror up to oneself and to one's own commitments and assumptions. And in its second order formation, that means allowing us to question things like the political economy, the norms in our society in which innovation and innovation systems sit. And I think that's exactly the kinds of questions that our referendum showed are important to people. Questions of our politics, questions of our political economy, questions of who benefits from innovation and who doesn't. So if anything, I think the referendum has showed us that, that the RRI frameworks are more important than they ever have been in terms of helping us formulate grand challenges and in ensuring that we have a sustainable and equitable future for all.